What if instead of just using AI to summarize your notes, you could turn it into a powerful thinking partner that challenges your ideas and helps you think in ways you never could on your own? Well, I developed an AI system that helps you do exactly that. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you every prompt, command, and step-by-step -step setup that you need to create your own personalized thinking partner. By the end of this video, you'll have a completely new way of using AI to help you think better about your ideas. Everything I'm gonna show you today is part of my AI-powered note-taking playbook, a collection of 50 of my best prompts for using AI to work with your notes. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to check that out. All right, so the prompts I'm gonna show you today are all in my AI-powered note-taking playbook. There's over 50 prompts in this playbook around exploring your ideas, connecting your ideas, distilling your ideas down. Uh, they can be used in any LLM that you choose. Today, I'm gonna to use Tana and its inbuilt AI to show you how I use some of these prompts. So let's get into these prompts. I'm gonna show you five of my very favorite ones today. They're my go-tos. The first three are all about connecting your ideas and the last two are about distilling your ideas. This is how I think about thinking, right? So when it comes to an idea, what you wanna do is you want to expand it, okay? So you wanna pull it apart, you wanna get all of the information and then you want to distill that down to its very essence and that's how you get a really good idea um so these are the kinds of prompts that i use to do this so the first one is called the five question framework and it is my go-to okay especially for getting started on a new idea and i find that you know and like anyone i don't like looking at a blank page even when it comes to kind of a spark idea that i have and so i find a great way to get started with what do i think about this is to have ai ask me some questions and that is exactly what the five question framework does so you're looking at my actual notes in Tana and what I do is whenever I need to get started, um, I come up to my AI menu and I've got all of my prompts in here ready to go. So let's just quickly have a look at what the five question prompt is and then I'll show you how it works. So if I open this up, what you see here, the prompt itself is this. Ask me five questions about the topic or idea. Your goal is just to discover any unique opinions, experiences or insights ask each of these questions one by one don't let me sit on the surface push me to go deeper treat this like a conversation between two curious people so that's really what the the essence of the prompt is and we're trying to get ai to throw us those questions so we can start really thinking about things if you're interested in how to set this up in tana itself what it is is it's a command that you create and the command module that you use is start ai chat okay um this basically kind of triggers the ai chat to open with the prompt already prompted in there now we have an agent in here which is kind of just like a custom gpt and if i open this up we've just got a simple system prompt um, that uh, if you think about a custom gpt this is like your system prompt in that custom gpt it's giving this information uh, to the ai without you having to do it each time okay so i've just got something here you're my thinking partner uh, your job's to draw out my personal you know interesting insights you're curious you like to ask questions your job's to push me to think um, encourage me to go deeper our outcome is to go from fuzzy idea to fully fleshed out idea and this is the idea that we're working on today and then what you want to do to make sure that the ai gets all the context of your note is you just want to add this little tag here sys context and then once that's done what we're going to do is we are just going to come here, go to explore, and we're going to open up the five question framework. So you can see uh, we've got our thinking partner here and it's starting to think. So uh, first things first is it starts with their first question. OK, the article mentions a second brain being like a rich, rotting compost heap of ideas. That was one of my favorite uh, quotes. <laughs> That, that I love from this article. Uh, what's your experience with building a second brain system and how would you describe your own metaphor for it? So again, you know, this is an easy question for me to answer, but it starts to get me thinking about what my unique idea is. And so all I have to do is just keep answering the questions. And so I've just answered the question. Uh, and, you know, really not not for, with very much info, just, you know, this I've been kind of doing this for about three or four years. I used to have this really rigid, you know, as I was thinking through this, I thought, you know what, I used to really think rigidly about how to take notes, and now I have a much more kind of flexible outlook on it. And so then 
you know, AI looks at that answer, it kind of knows what we're talking about, and it starts to then ask me, you know, a secondary question, um, which is like, okay, tell me more about, you know, what caused this shift right? What made you realize the rigid system wasn't working? And so then I just continue to keep, you know, answering questions and answering questions. And as I do that, things start to then come together for me. How that then works is I will take, you know, a whole lot of, um, you know, I'll, I'll take all of those answers and I will start to then put them in to my notes and start to organize them in that way. And I find this five question framework, just a really great way to get my thinking started. It's really, really cool. Okay, so that's the five question framework. The next one is called the what if game, okay? And this also helps me to think a little bit deeper and a little bit wider about things, okay? So let's play this game. Okay, so let's look at this one. Um, so if we have a look, so if we open this up and we have a look at what the what if game is, all these prompts are set up exactly the same. They use exactly the same agent, okay? Um, but what they do is they have a different initial prompt, okay? And this particular one is, ask me as many what if questions as you can to prompt my thinking. Explore different contexts, constraints, perspectives to help me expand on the idea. Again, we're saying ask me one what if question at a time to give me time to think and answer without feeling overwhelmed. Now, this particular note is actually just something that I was thinking about, and it's actually an audio note that I took while out on a walk about how to build effective habits when reviewing your notes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to explore and then the what if game. Again, this opens up a chat and the prompts are already given, and then it starts with a question. Now you can tell I like questions when it comes to exploring different ideas. So. Um, this one. What if instead of having fixed review schedules, the system could intelligently suggest when to review specific notes based on their relevance to your current work or thinking patterns? Now, that is an interesting question because I wrote over here about different daily, weekly, monthly kind of routines for your notes. But I love this idea of having something that is smart that actually knows when you should review something so this kind of brings up all kinds of sparky thoughts for me um, and all I have to do is kind of start to write things out and so I simply just you know uh, input some more things around like okay this is what sparked for me when you said this and so then now we're, do we're going deeper right and so now what if we think about notes having different urgency levels or review triggers, like how would you envision a note knowing when it needs to be reviewed? And so it's really asking me to keep thinking deeper about this. This is something that I would not have thought of on my own. And this is why I love using AI for this process because it does trigger you to think in different ways. It's like having a person next to you who's saying, well, what if you thought about it in this way? Or what if it was this? And it's really, really effective to start you thinking different thoughts. So the five question framework and the what if game are great for getting you to really get into your ideas and start to think a little bit differently, start to develop your own unique ideas. The devil's advocate game, which is our third uh, prompt, is designed to uh, basically come up against you and come up against your idea and make you defend it. Uh, this is also one of my favorite games. So I've got a note here, which is called Don't Collect Quotes, Collect Ideas. Now I've been thinking about this for a long time um, and I actually have a short that I want to record um, but I couldn't quite get it right and I didn't know why. And so um, I used the devil's advocate on this particular idea to really, really get clear on what my argument was, okay? Um, so how this one works is let's just have a look as at devil's advocate. So again, it's the start AI chat module. Uh, then uh, we're using the thinking partner agent. So it's exactly the same as the other two, but the initial prompt is literally this. Um, and this is why I love using this agent because we can actually prompt the agent with you know really the bulk of what we're trying to do here and then the initial prompts can be pretty simple okay so this one is literally i want you to play devil's advocate challenge me on my idea don't hold back so <laughs> all we have to do here is uh go to explore devil's advocate it's going to open up the chat and then 
it says, okay, let's challenge this idea. Okay. Now this particular one doesn't ask it in single questions, um, but you know, gives me some ideas to start to, to play with. Okay. So <laughs> let's go to the first one. Aren't you creating a false dichotomy here? Why does it have to be either quotes or ideas? Couldn't quotes actually be the seeds that grow into ideas? Now, this is a great question and it's actually the question that I asked myself, like, why is it black and white, right? Um, and so I can kind of continue to kind of noodle on that. Second, you mentioned that storing information doesn't require cognitive effort, but isn't the act of choosing which quotes to save already a form of cognitive effort? And I'm saying, hmm, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe it is. And so all of these questions are designed to get you to think outside your regular thinking and that makes your ideas even better. And so Devil's Advocate is just a really, really fun prompt to get you to think bigger um, about your ideas. All right, so those are the three prompts that help you to explore your ideas, to blow them out, to make them really big, um, and to collect as much as you can about those ideas. These next two prompts are distilling prompts. So they are about distilling your ideas down into the very essence of what they are, okay? And it's a great way to figure out if you've really understood the idea. So this first one is called First Principles. Okay, so this is a note that I have on uh, Zeta Custom versus Commonplace book. I have been exploring this idea for a really long time. And I've got lots and lots of different notes here, okay, about all sorts of different things. And so um, how this particular prompt works is, if we have a look at it, uh, first principles is uh, we have our thinking partner agent, okay, and then we have our initial prompt, okay. So um, this one is uh, what are the first principles or fundamental truths behind this idea? What assumptions can I remove to get to the core? I also add here, remember you're my thinking partner, so it's your job to help me get to the first principles, not give me the answer. So again, you know, the beauty of these is that we're not asking AI to do our thinking for us. We're asking AI to be our thinking partner. Okay. So if I then come here and go to first principles, then the chat's going to open and we get our first prompt here. Okay. And it's prompting you to keep thinking. Okay. So let's start peeling back the layers. What would you say is the most fundamental human need or behavior that drives someone to keep a commonplace book? Now that is such an interesting question, okay? And that's different to just me having this prompt open saying, what's the first principles of Zettelkasten versus commonplace? Because it knows about the notes, because it's got all that context, it can really ask me very, very direct questions. You know, when you strip away all the methods, What's the core human activity happening here? This is like lights me up straight away. Like I want to stop the video and start writing about this straight away. So um, this is just a really great way to, you know, get to the very core essence when you have a lot of information. Okay. So when you've collected a really big idea, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. All of that stuff you've collected, you're like, where do I even start? Like, where do I even get to? And this strips out all that and basically gets you to the first principles really, really quickly. And this one is all about helping you do a 30 second pitch on what this idea is. It's a great way uh, to be able to explain your idea really fast. We well, you can use exactly the same note um, and you can see that you can use any one of these prompts on the same note and get different results. So what this one looks like is if we go to the pitch, it's the AI chat module. We've got our thinking partner agent. And then the prompt is help me summarize the idea in a 30 second pitch as if I were explaining it to someone with no prior knowledge. You need to coach me to write the 30 second pitch rather than do it for me. So let's go. Okay, so it uh, starts off pretty simply, right? What do you think are the two to three most important points someone needs to understand about commonplace versus Zettelkasten? What's the core message you want to convey? Okay. Now I could even say, you know what? I actually don't know. So if I'm still kind of like, mm, I don't really know, like, uh, I need your help on it. Then we just ask it. Okay. And now we get a couple of really good questions, right? So what's the main problem or challenge? 
um, that commonplace books solve for people. Uh, when you think about someone who would benefit from a commonplace book, who are those people? You know, what's the simplest way you could explain what a commonplace book is, right? And so then you start to kind of get into, you know, how do we really distill this down? Who is this really for? You know, those kinds of questions. And this is a really great way to build a very concise kind of way to describe your idea. I usually use this prompt when I am uh, coming to the end of like an idea is ready to go and I need a really simple way to kind of convey that to the world. So those are my top five favorite prompts for using AI to work with my notes as a thinking partner. They are really, really powerful as a trigger to get you started thinking, okay? So a lot of the times before I used AI with my notes, I felt like I was stalled, okay? I, like before I even got started thinking, I felt like this is too hard, it's too much of a heavy lift. And by having these really simple prompts and just being able to click that button and get a question or you know be guided through a process, it really does help. And I've just found that I love to explore my notes even more because it doesn't feel like that heavy lift anymore. It feels like I have a partner sitting right next to me kind of guiding me through um, creating my own ideas and creating my own knowledge. If you like these five prompts, I have 50 more of them in my AI powered note taking playbook. Highly recommend you check it out. Again, as I said, you don't need Tana to make it happen. The, the prompts can be used in any LLM. You can set them up as custom, uh, a custom project in Claude. You can set them up as a custom GPT in ChatGPT. Um, or if you do use Tana, then I have a command that you can install that has them all installed and ready to go. Again, if you want to grab these prompts and more, then check out my AI powered note taking playbook in the description. You'll get access to all the prompts that you've just seen, plus 50 more, so you can use them in any LLM tool. And if you use Tana, you can install the custom command menu directly into your workspace to get started. Now, if you want to explore more about my note taking methods, then you might like this complete walkthrough of my note taking workflow. And as always, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want more great content like this coming up in your feed.